this is Gina. Today we are going to make these circle, crystal circle earrings. I'm kind of running out of names for things. I'm not very original anymore, but don't know that I ever was actually. Anyway, these earrings are, um, they're kind of like flowers. They have some recessed crystals here and then they have these little clusters of seed beads here and then they have a different center color of um, crystal and really they're quite detailed they're really pretty it's a quick moving project and let's go ahead and let's look at them against my skin first because you can see them better they're really pretty and then this is what the back looks like which is not bad looking either that's fairly nice looking back of the earring. So um, let's go ahead and look at what it takes to make these earrings today. Okay, for this project today, you're going to need two ear wires. I'm using this gold tone French wire. You'll need two of them, of course. And then you'll need 15-0, 11-0, and 8 seed beads. These are all Toho, and this is the galvanized Gold Tone, which is Starlight in the Toho line, both the 15-0 and the 11-0. Then you will need an 8-0 seed bead, and this is a metallic bronze Toho. You will need two colors of 4mm bicones. These are both Swarovski. One is Montana Blue, and the other is, um, I am not sure, it's red. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the cyan, it's um, just the cherry red color. S and then you're going to need some Nanofill or Fireline. I'm using 8 pound Nanofill. Today you can use 6 pound Fireline instead of 8 pound Nanofill if that's what you have. Then you will need a size 10 beading needle and you will want to put on about one arm's length and a half of your thread onto your needle and we'll go okay, ahead to start this project you will pick up with your needle and slide down onto your thread an 8 0 3 11 0 seed beads and then a 4 millimeter crystal and then 3 11 0s an 8 0 3 11 0s and a crystal 3 11 0s 8 0 3 11 0s and a crystal 3 11 0s 8 0 3 11 0s and a crystal and 3 11 0s so you will have four 8-0s and four bicone crystals alternating with each other and with three 11-0s in between. You'll start with an 8 and end with a series of three 11-0s. Then we will bring this down to the end of our thread. We back off a little here so that I can stay in frame. Oops, and I just stuck my thumb in there. Hey. So once you get this um, series of beads onto your needle, I'm sorry, I need to adjust here. Once you get these onto your needle and onto your thread, bring them to the end of the thread, and then we will tie a little knot between the beads here. Make sure that your knot goes between the beads, and then just pull it tight not extremely tight. We need to still get between these beads. So, but don't leave a lot of gap in the thread either. Just pull them around like so. And then we are going to sew back around these beads to ensure that they're secure. I'm also going to cut this little tail down a little bit because I don't need it and it'll just be in my way. So I'm just going to cut it down a little. And then I'm going to go back through all of these beads. Like so. Make sure that you don't skip any because then it'll bunch your little circle. And this is your base that you're working out of. You want it to be nice and neat. So just carefully go around all of them. Once you get all the way around, 
I'm going to exit an 80 seed bead and then I am going to pick up five 11 o seed beads onto my needle. So let me get a little closer here so you can see. I am then going to pick up onto my needle, so I'm exiting this 80 seed bead right here. And I'm going to pick up five 11 o seed beads onto my needle like this. And I'm going to go from this 80 into this crystal on the inside of my piece here and pull. And then I'm just going to push it to the inside of the circle like this. And I'm going to do that all the way around. I'll pick up five 11 seed beads onto my needle. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll go from crystal to 80 this time. And I'll continue moving around my piece from 80 to crystal, crystal to 80, picking up five 11 o seed beads on my needle and traveling all the way around the circle until <laughs> I have put a little loop between each of the 80s and crystals. So I've got five 11 o's. I'm going from this 80 to this crystal. We're going to continue doing this off camera until we make it all the way around the circle. We get to this one, we'll go from this crystal to this 80 with our loop and we'll be back. So I've gone all the way around. I'm coming out of my last crystal to make my last loop into my last 80 in my circle here. And I told you to push these towards the center. They don't want to stay towards the center. So don't worry about it too much. I just kind of try to encourage them that way because my next step is to pull them into the center. So I'm going to go into the next 80 seed bead and then I'm going to go into the first three 11 O's on the first loop I made. So this is my last loop. I have my five 11 O's. I'm going through the 8 O and three 11 O's and exiting. And I'm going to pull this down. Pull it towards the center a little bit here. I'm exiting this third 11 O seed bead. I'm going to back off just a little bit. And I'm going to pick up an 8 O seed bead onto my needle like so. I'm going to go from this 11 o in this strand to the next 11 o the very top, the third bead in your next strand. So one, two, three, you'll go into the third bead in the five of your loop. And pull the 8 o between the two and bring them forward into the center of your piece. Now this is going to look really weird and feel like it's kind of arguing with you to do this, but don't worry about it, it will do it. So pick up another 80. You're coming out of this 11 and this strand of five 11 O's. We're going to now go into this third or very top peak bead in the next loop. And we're going to put an 80 between. And we're going to do this all the way around. So I'm going to bend this one in and I'm going to pick up an 80. And I'm going to count three beads, one, two, three, go into the third, and pull. And then I'm going to bend my next strand in, my next little loop, pick up an 8-0 seed bead, go from this 11 to the third 11 in the next peak, like so. And I'm going to do that again. Now, like I said, this kind of argues with you. Don't worry about it, it'll straighten out eventually. So one, two, three, I'm going to go into this third one and pull it forward. Bring my next loop up, pick up an 8 go into the third bead in my next loop and pull. Then again, I am going to pick up the next little strand, pick up an 8 go into the third bead and pull. And pull all these forward. Now I'm to my very last little peak here. So let's get a little closer so you can see. So I'm coming out of this 11 here. 
this is the next 11 on the next peak. It's the one that I started in. So I'm going to pick up my 8 0 and I'm, I've got one on my needle, and then I'm going to go into this um, 11 0 that we started from and the 8 0 next to it, and I'm going to exit that 8 0. And I'm going to pull this 8 0 down into the center, like so. Now I'm going to sew through just the 8 0s and pull them forward. So I'm going to ignore the 11 0s in between and I'm just going to go through my 8 0 seed beads, like so. And I'm going to sew around them and pull them a little bit forward into the center of my piece. So just sew through just the 8 0s and go all the way around the entire piece here. Once you get back to where you started from, go a bead or two past it just to make sure that it's secure. This should pull everything into a nice little circle. I've got a fuzzy on my thread. Oops. Okay. So that's what this should look like right here. Now we're going to sew into this 11-0 that's between these two 8 0's here. It doesn't matter which one, just wherever you exited after sewing your 8 0's together. And go into that 11 0, pull tight. I've really got a fuzzy on my thread that I just can't get rid of. Jeez. Okay. Now I'm going to go up into these 11 0's here. So I'm coming out of this 11 0. I'm going to sew up into the two above it like so, and exit. I am now going to sew into this, if I can just get that fuzzy, jeez Louise. I don't know where it came from, but it's driving me nuts. All right, now we're going to go into this crystal here and exit. And at this point, we're going to make another loop of loops. We're going to go all the way around the circle making some more loops on top here. And this time we are going to pick up four, um, let's see, how many do I want? One, two, three, yes. We're going to pick up four 11 O C beads and we're going to go from crystal to 8 O. So one, two, three, four. So four 11 O's on your needle, and we're coming out of this crystal here. We're going to go to this 8 O. Now these are going to kind of stack on top, whichever way they want to fall. It doesn't matter which at this point, because both sides are the same. So either way can be used as the top. And so that's what that should look like. Now we're going to pick up four more 11 O seed beads. We are going to go from this 8 to the next crystal and pull them down. And we're going to continue doing that all the way around the piece. Four 11 O's between each crystal and 8 O on the outside here. So I'm coming out of this crystal. I have four 11 O's. I'm going to go into this 8 O. We're going to do this all the way around the piece. And when we have finished doing that, we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so I've gone all the way around, except for my last little um, loop here. So I'm coming out of this 8 0. I've got my four 11 0s. I'm going to go into this crystal here. And I'm just going to exit this crystal. If I can get through, just avoiding the 11 O's on the other side of it. And just make sure all of your little loops are on the same side. You don't want some on this side and some on that side. It should kind of look like a little bowl like this. And then you're going, you're coming out of this crystal here. You're going to sew down into the 11 O's right here. Just those two 11 O's. And exit and pull your thread through. 
and then you're going to go into this 11 0 between the 8 0s here. So you're coming out of these two 11 0s, you're going to go into just this 11 0 right here and pull your thread through. Now we're going to put a little crystal embellishment on top of here. I'm going to back up just a little so I can stay in frame. I am going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead. And then now I'm going to use my red crystals. So use your second color now, pick up a 15 0, a crystal, and then a 15 0 onto your needle. You're coming out of this 11 0 seed bead here. We're going to get close again just so you can see how I'm going to do this. We're going to drop these beads down a little bit so that they go to the piece here. And then we are going to go into this top strand we just made. We're just going to go into the two middle beads. You're going to ignore this one and this one. And you're just going to go into these two right here. And you're going to pull your thread through. And this should pull your 15 0 crystal 15 0 combination down on top. Now you're going to pick up a 15 0. You're going to go back into the crystal itself and just the crystal and pull like so. Now you're going to pick up another 15 0 onto your needle. You're going to Go down into the 11 0 you started on in the one between the 8 0 seed beads. So go down into this 11 0 here, and then you can go into the 8 0 and the next 11 0 also if you can. I can't get through that 11 0, so I'm just going to go through the 11 0 I started in, then the 8 0 next to it, and I'm going to pull this crystal down and I'm going to arrange it and make sure it looks nice. And then I'm going to go into the 11 0 between the 8 0 seed beads in the next little segment here. So I'm going to pay, pull my thread through. Now I'm going to back off a little just so I can stay in frame. I'm going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead. I'm going to pick up another red crystal and a 15 0 seed bead. And I'm coming out of this 11 0 here. I'm going to go up into my strand of four and I'm going to go through the two center beads. So I've got my 15 0 uh, crystal 15 0. I'm going to go into just these two center beads on my little loop up here. And I'm going to pull this crystal down, arrange it into the little segment that we're working in. Then I'm going to pick up a 15 0. And I'm going to go through just the crystal itself. Pull my thread through, pull my 15 0 down on top of it, then pick up another 15 0 seed bead. And I am going to go down into the 11 0 between the 8 0s that I started in. I'll go into that 11 0 and then into the next 8 0. And if I can, I'll go into the next 11 0 too, just so that I'm ready to make my next embellishment and I will pull this down. There we have it. And now we're in the next. Make sure that these are nice and tight and that there's no slack and no weirdness going on because you won't have a chance to fix those later. They are going to be the way they are now. So make sure after you make each one that it is settled in there the way you want it to be. Now, I'm coming out of this 11 0 in the next little V segment here, and I'm going to pick up a 15 0, a crystal, and a 15 0. I am again going to go up into my little strand here on top and go into the two middle beads like so and bring my crystal down into this little V segment. And then I'm going to pick up a 15 0. I am going to go into the crystal itself and just the crystal. I'm going to put my thumb over it, hold it in place, and secure it down by pulling my thread. And then I'm going to pick up a 15 0. And I will go into the 11 0 I started in, right down inside here. 
Let's get close one more time just so you can see exactly where I'm at. Down into this 11 0 between the 8 0s. Then I will go into the next 8 0, and I can't grab that next 11 0, so I'm just going to pull through, and then I will go through the next 11 0 right here. And that gets me ready for my next crystal embellishment. You're going to go all the way around the entire piece, putting a crystal on the little segments between the 8 and the crystals on the original unit. So just continue putting all your crystals in and we will okay, be back. Okay, so I've gone mm -hmm. pretty much all the way around. I'm going to put my last crystal on and then we will um, move on to the next step. So I'm coming out of this 11 here. I'm coming out of this side of the 11 I just wanted to clarify that as you put your crystals on, make sure that you go up into the top loop beads on the same side as you're exiting from the 11 on the bottom. So I've got my 15 my crystal, and my 15 I'm going to come up through the same side, through the two center beads, in the loop on top, and bring my crystal down. Then I'll pick up my 15 0. I'll go through the crystal, pull my thread through, put my thumb on top and tighten and make sure that everything's pretty. And then I'll pick up my 15 0 and I'll go into the opposite side of the bead I started in. So I started on this side. I'm going to go into this side. And I will go into the 8 0, the next 8 0 also and tighten this up. Now at this point you want to make sure all your crystals look pretty and then you're coming out of this 8-0. I'm going to slide my needle through the piece and turn it over just so I can see where I'm at better. I'm coming out of this 8-0. I want to go up into these two 11 seed beads right here just so that I can slide back up to the top of my piece just like this. So I'm coming through these two 11 O's right here, I'm going to slide up through the top of my piece and just pull my needle through. Just so that I can get to the top without making a big mess of my crystals and um, my piece. So now I'm just coming out of these two 11 O's on the inside. I'm going to go into the crystal on the outside that I'm right next to. Now if you slid through and you're coming up through an 8 that's fine too. Just go through, or if you're right next to an 8 just come through the 8 Whichever bead on the outside rim that you're going to be next to, you'll come up through like so. Now I'm coming out of this crystal here. I am going to do one more crystal embellishment, but now I will use my Montana Blue crystals again. So I'm going to grab some of those. I'm going to pick up a 15 onto my needle and then I will pick up a crystal and then another 15 0 so this is what I have I'm coming from this crystal I'm going to slide into this 8 0 right here and I'm going to pull this down to where it just slides right in between the little circle loop that I made between my original units and my last little embellishment loop then I will pick up a 15 0, a crystal, and a 15 0, and I will go from this 8 0 to this crystal. And I will slide the beads I picked up down in between, like so. Make sure that they land and they're really nice and pretty and look good. And then move to your next one. Pick up 15 0, crystal, 15 0, like so. Go from here to here and move all the way around your piece, putting these crystals down in between the loops right on top of the red crystals. Okay, and we'll so do that. Once you've gone all the way around, this is what you should have. Should look just like this. And so your little 15 O's and your 11 O's make kind of little bunches over each of the crystals. I think that's kind of pretty effect that it makes. Now I'm going to turn this over 
So you can see I'm coming out of this bicone crystal after putting this embellishment on top here. Now I'm going to slide into these three 11 O's underneath this bicone. It doesn't matter which one, wherever you're coming out. Just make sure that you sew into the next series of three by, or 11 O's. And then we're going to put on our ear wire now. So grab an ear wire and you're coming out of these three 11 O's here. You're going to pick up two 15 O's and then an 8 O and then four 15 O's onto your needle. So one, start it, two, three, four. So I've got two 15 O's, an 8 O, and four 15 O's. I'm going to drop this down to my piece. I am then going to sew through my ear wire, making sure that it is the proper way for my ear. So let's back up. So I am going to make sure that the loop part of the ear wire is down, and I'm going to go through this part. And also check to make sure that your ear wire is closed tightly and mine is not. So I'm going to grab, oh, well, maybe not those. Um, yeah, I have to get those. Hang on a second. Okay. So I've got my, um, chain nose pliers and I am going to just grab a hold of this loop and I am going to close it tightly because it's open and my thread is just going to come right through it. So I'm going to make sure I can get it as tightly closed as I can. And then I have my two 15 O's, 8 O, and then um, four 15 O's. I'm going to put my ear wire down, making sure my ear ring itself is up. And I'm going to sew through the loop of the ear wire. And then I'm going to let it slide over the 15 O's. And I'd like it to be centered between the four of them, so the four 15 O's. And then I'm going to come back through this 8 O seed bead right here. So I'll show you. I know it's all goofy looking. And see, my ear wire flew right through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make my loop, and then I'll slide my ear wire over it and close it again. So now I'm coming out of this 8 seed bead. I've got my four 11 O's on top. I've got two coming out here. I'm just going to do this alternative way just so that you can see what you can do if this happens because it happens quite often. And then I'm going to turn this back over. We're going to get close. So I've come out of this 8 O. I have two 15 O's, my 8 O. 15 O's. I'm coming back through my 8 O and then I'm going to pick up two 15 O's and then I'm going to go to the opposite side of the three 8 O's I'm exiting from. So I am exiting from this, these three 8 O or 11 O's right here. I'm going to go into the next bead right here, the next three, so the next crystal over and I'm going to go into those three 11 O's right there. And I'm going to pull this down like so. And then when I turn it over, you can see I have a little, um, little attachment between my two crystals. And now I'm just going to secure this attachment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew down. I'm coming out of this 11 O here between the crystals. I'm going to sew down into the 11 O's beneath it. And then I will sew into the 11 O between the 8 O's here. Then I'm going to sew back up into these 11 O's here. So I just want to get back up to the top of my piece here. Into this 8 -oh. And then I can slide up into these two 15 O's again. So all I've done, 
let me see, I don't know if I was even in frame. All I've done is just sewn up my piece following my original thread path so that I can get back up to my 15 O's and my 8 O here and I just want to sew through it again. Just to make sure that I have a nice secure attachment. So I'm just sewing through the 8 O, the 15 O's, I'll go back down through these Now, if you were able to sew and keep your ear wire on there, great. Then you're finished. Your your ear wire is on, and um, you can just knot off. But here, I'm going to knot off my um, attachment here. So I'm just going to go through these two beads. I'm going to go between them and grab the thread bridge, this little row of 11 O's here. Try to make sure that my thread goes down between my beads. And then I'll go through this 11 oh and this crystal. Oops. I hope I didn't confuse you with this ear wire thing, but you could also use um, a wire guardian there if you'd like. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this off. I'll leave it a little long. Later I'll find a um, lighter and burn that down. This is what I have. Now I'm going to open my ear wire from side to side. And this can be a little tricky. I'm going to slide it between these 15 O seed beads here. Like so and then I'm going to close it as tightly as I can. That way it won't slide through again because it's got the 15 O's to stop it. Before with just the single thread and you're trying to sew around and secure it, it just pops right through. So that's what that looks like. You back off and let you see it. And we'll show you the set in just a second. And this is what they look like as a set. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. And make yourself a pair. See you later. Bye-bye.